Welcome to OG Comics Review. Guys, gals, friends, foes, hoes. I'm the OG coming to you from Panama City Beach, Florida. Living, not the Three Stripe Live today. Guys, we're going to go over polls for November 2nd. And we're going to go over a top five for 1026. I said we were going to do a Fantastic Four, but I'm going to tell you. It was an 18 comic poll last week. So there's more. Well, there's actually five. We're going to try to cut it down. Right off the bat, guys, we're going to get into Sergeant Rock versus the Army of the Dead. This is DC Horror, and I love it, guys. You have morphemed, morphemed up, uppers, upped Nazis fighting. God, that glare ain't going to work. Let me shift this. Uh, is that better? We're going to do something. Sorry, guys. I'm going to switch this over here. Okay, that's much better. I'm not getting the light that I want. Real in-studio stuff here. Um, you know, it is what it is. This is a fantastic read. I like it. These uh, army guys, they remind me of Sergeant Rock or up against Nazi zombies. They haven't really figured out how to kill them yet. Who knows? Maybe it's a beheading. We don't know. Um, I'm liking um, DC versus Vampires. This is 10 of a 12... 12 uh, issue limited series. I like the fact that Batman is no longer with us. Batman was turned and Batman was killed. Uh, nobody knew that the bat signals, multiple bat, bat signals throughout Gotham City, they're actually ultraviolet laser cannons. Not really laser, but they're, they're, they're infrared and they will kill vampires. Batman, woo! Always thinking, always thinking. Batman is one of a kind. I'm going to tell you. Had consent, con, what do you call it? Contingency plans to take out Superman if he ever turned. Um, Strange number seven, Marvel Comics. Guys, you know I'm all down for Clea. Clea is not Sorcerer Supreme. She is Sorcerer Supreme. I like it. I really like it. I love me some Doctor Strange too. Doctor Strange is currently Harvest Man. His, his, he is um, a sorcerer of the under, underworld. He has, he serves death, believe it or not. He serves death. I kind of hope that they kind of come with something in this storyline to keep it that Clea, Clea is Sorcerer Supreme, but you still have a Doctor Strange, maybe as Harvestman. I don't know. I don't know where this is going, but I would hate to lose Clea as Sorcerer Supreme. I really like the storyline. Um... I, I just hate to see that go. Beautiful cover art. Beautiful cover art. Guys, I got to tell you, way back in 1997, I pretty much left comic books because of this guy. I got sick and tired of Wolverine. Everything was, I'm the best there is. What I do! Um, you don't get that too much anymore. You've got a, a Wolverine that's more down to earth. Trust me, he comes out with the claws when he has to. But I like the fact that he's friends with this Jeff Bannister uh, that works at S-Desk. X desk, the same X X desk that Dolores Ramirez works at, and she is no friend of the mutants. Um, this is also in this uh, the auctions are on again for uh, the merchant is running his auctions. One time a while back, in issues past, we actually had Wolverine's claw attached to a fist. That Wolverine, you know, Wolverine has this memory where he just doesn't remember shit. Um, he doesn't know how it happened, but he was determined to get that hand and claw back. Um, there was all kinds of things. There was a Nimrod in there. How the hell did that happen? They never explored that. They need to, they need to go back to that. Guys, this ended, it ended pretty well. This was Judgment Day. This was the final. There's some things I liked about this and a lot I did not like. The death of Cersei, I thought is very noble how she went out. Um, they've created this Orcus fought with the X-Men. Who would have thunk that? The whole thing about Orcus is wiping out mutantum. Um, Nimrod is a, is a part of Orcus. And Nimrod sees humans just as bad as mutants. In the end, wipe out the mutants, then he's going to turn on the humans. Nothing but AI. Um, they are now resurrecting humans. I don't like it. I'm not down with it. I was never down for uh, the resurrection uh, protocols with mutants. I don't like it. 
I don't like it. I wouldn't say I'm a real strong Catholic guy, but you know, I, I think that when you're dead, you're dead. Uh, only one guy um, can raise the dead and put a soul in that corpse. I, I don't know. Woo! I don't know. Okay, getting into polls for November 2nd. Guys, I do not like to get political. I do not like to get all into religion. We don't do that here at OG Comics Review. Um, woo! I'm going to stay away from that one. I, you guys know, if you've watched this show before, um, I never liked that. I don't like Krakoa. I don't like how arrogant they are. I want to see it go sideways. Polls for November 2nd. New comic book day. Joker. This has really intrigued me. I, I, had, I, I was taught back in the day to buy first editions. I bought this. I really like the story. Can't wait to read it and tell you how it goes. Maybe it'll make the top five or the final four. Predator. Predator number four. I love this story. She's still hunting. Well, this is the tables have turned. She was hunting for the predator that killed her family. She could she knew this predator because she was able to cut off one of his mandibles. Just like the mandible claw. But uh, they're now hunting her. This is a variant by uh, Stan Sakai. Um, very Japanese style. Deadpool number one. We're going to see how it goes. I can only tolerate so much Deadpool. But I will tell you that Deadpool is currently in uh, X-Force. And he's doing pretty good. I like it. It's Wolverine, uh, Deadpool, and um, Beast, Domino, and... Um, um, Omega Red. And Omega Red, I love Omega Red. Punisher, can't wait to read this. I love how this story's going. He is the wet, he's the fist of the hand. Looking forward to re reading this too. This is number one, Marvel Comics Secret Invasion. Let's see how deep this goes. This is supposed to tie into, we're going to get movies or a Disney special or something. She-Hulk, this is Jen Bartel cover. Very beautiful. I'll tell you what, this comic book right here, I love She-Hulk. I thought the series was funny, um, and I took it that way. It was supposed to be funny. Uh, Jen Walters, um, She-Hulk has always supposed to have been funny. Even when the great John Byrne was writing her, it was funny. Um, that comic book is on a lifeline. We're going to see how it's going to go. I may end up dropping it, and I hate to do that. I'm all into these Star Wars comic books. This is Mandalorian. You see the little Goku Goku right there. Mandalorian number five. How can you resist the the, the little Go, uh, Groku? Is it Goku or Groku? Groku. Jesus. I bought this because it's an Art Adams variant. I didn't want to buy it at first, but it, it grew on me. It's Spider-Gwen. I'm going to tell you I'm a little tired of Spider-Gwen. You know my feelings about Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy is dead. Uh, Spider-Gwen is not Gwen Stacy, but I bought it anyway. I, I like Art Adams. I had hoped to meet him and get a signature from him in uh, the Comic-Con at Fan Expo in New Orleans. But it was, it was uh, they had a little COVID breakout and he canceled. Uh, we have a cover here by Raza. This right here, this is Darth Vader. And this is great reading. If you're a Star Wars fan, you need to buy this. And I'm going to tell you right here, you have, uh, you have, um, God, um, uh, the Sith Lord right here, the Emperor, and uh, he's got, uh, I, I'm not going to pronounce her name right now because the OG needs to practice a little bit more. Padme? Padme? Okay, this right here, this right here is the linchpin that controls Darth Vader. Right here. It's, a, it's an amazing story. This guy is pretty powerful. He's probably more powerful than Darth Vader, allegedly. Darth Vader is one powerful MFR. Very powerful, but he is held in check by this right here in her resurrection. But uh, can't wait, can't wait to see where that goes. Um, we're going to bring with this one to a close. Uh, the OG is in the middle of a move. I bought it, I purchased the house with my family, and we're going to be moving. You guys know how moving is it's very stressful, it's very, uh, it's a lot of work. OG has a lot of stuff. Um, be patient with me. We're going to get these videos out to you. Make sure you visit your local comic book store. Dig in those long boxes. You guys are now finally starting to send me some questions. I don't know what it is. There's a glitch in the system. Sometimes I can't always uh, answer the questions, but I will get to them. I check them weekly. 
Um, I do appreciate you subscribers that have subscribed to OG Comics Review. I need more. I'm not looking to get rich, guys. I'm looking to be able to give you more content. These videos were originally meant for you, and that's it. I'm not trying to get rich, not trying to quit my job. You guys know that the OG is a real working man. But we're going to bring this one to an end. Slap the ass on that like button, guys. It's going to help us out. We are out.